Hi everybody. Hi. I didn't hunt. Yeah. Jakob, could you please uh, explain how you lived this night or experienced this night? Tough, difficult, good team. That unfortunately for us, extremely professional mindset and dominated the match from the first second, the first 20 minutes. We had a tempo shock and I would say the combination of meeting the team that we met and haven't played a competition match for two months makes it difficult for us and I think well, but I'm I'm okay with the last part of the uh, first half the last 20 minutes where we uh, equalized and had a chance for a two to one of course unfortunate that we got a goal against us more or less at the last kick before the half time but they were better than us and uh, of course it was tough we ran a lot around on the field after them they had possession of the football most of the time of course I regret the last goal but it was a tough night and I must say they were a level or two above us better than us and the opponents that we met in the uh, in the group stage we must acknowledge that so in overtime first half they scored 2-1 and then also at the very last minute how much does it irritate to see you having these goals against you right before the half and uh, at the end of course it's annoying and irritating because if you go back uh, during halftime with 1-1 uh, you have other wipes but um, that's the way it is random goal 3-1 is of course unfortunate and unlucky and then the possibility uh, before that, the possibility was still there to do something at Etihad Stadium uh, with a result that was within a scope. So, of course, that's uh, regrettable, but I'm quite okay with all of that. I'm okay with the fact that uh, we lose to a opponent that's better than us on all parameters. Uh, both uh, on the field and uh, on the other side of the lines as well and uh, we have to acknowledge that and we have to learn from that and develop. Jakob, going forward, can you do something about this uh, history without uh, any competition matches uh, for two months? So you have, will you have a pitch to play games like a match like that again? Well, I think I have to check but uh, there could be a match day in January would be an advantage for Danish teams at least but it's not a, to make any excuses because we're not the first team the first Danish team that has to had to play uh, a game like a match like this uh, FC Copenhagen has done this previously and other Danish clubs have done so and have delivered better uh, results than us but it's a combination and also the meeting the opponent that we met today where you risk that you are running uh, many meters in vain like we did. Jakob, what are you happy about with your own team if we look at the Danish league starting next weekend? Well, I'm happy that they fought and they gave all they could. Uh, and in, in a difficult situation, so I'm happy with the last 20 minutes of the first half. I think we fought really well, and we fought our way back and made an equalizer uh, and uh, changed the situation a little bit and uh, scored a, a great goal and also another big chance with Magnus to score. So uh, that's I'm, I'm mostly happy about that we uh, played a bit against the best club in the world and uh, I think uh, uh, this is of course it was a difficult game but uh, and, and we will not be able to change that fact but I'm still happy Guardiola is uh, paper setting up there and the English journalist talked about him about that uh, some of the players got injured not that it was deliberate or the fault of the uh, 
Copenhagen players that the uh, but that the uh, referee had was quite a hardliner and uh, that he was not friendly against Copenhagen. No, I think the referee he did what he had to do. Uh, I got a yellow card because uh, I protested against a throw in and uh, well. Yes, there, it was a tough game, a physical game. We had to, but uh, I don't think we did it in any uh, mean way. And I think uh, at the referee uh, did a good job, both ways. Regarding the uh, end of the match, how did you see the balance between trying to limit this uh, one-two result, but also to still be aggressive? Well, I don't know if there was any balance because we wanted to do more, but we couldn't. So we ended up, uh, well, I ended up having some of the same, I hope Christian couldn't deliver the same like he did and, uh, against Manchester United. I don't know, it was 10 against 11 at that time, but we, we were just uh, pressured all the way back in, in our defense. And the times then we tried to apply high pressure, they got out of that situation like no other team we've met and will, will meet. Uh, in the way they can do it. So, yeah. Uh, we wanted to uh, and make some situations that uh, could uh, mean a goal, but it was difficult and in the, we were in a situation where uh, we actually ha achieved the balance and then they scored. So, I think it's Jeppe's turn. Thank you. Nisto. This it's the ultimate test to meet the best team in the world. But what does it take for a team like yours to get points or even win against Manchester City when they show up uh, like they did today? Well, that's difficult, but you have to uh, t grab the chances you have and the possibilities you have. So it's not impossible. There are also, there is also always a chance, but we won't be in a place where a Danish team or FC Copenhagen can play uh, on the same level as Manchester City uh, for two matches. But of course, we have to learn from this and what we met today and uh, be open-minded and curious towards that because there are a lot of things that I and the players can learn from vis-a-vis uh, -vis the challenge that we face today. You also mentioned that the last goal the City got it just makes the possibility that there could be in the return match more difficult. So how do you perceive this return match with the result after today? It'll be difficult, of course. But uh, we'll go over there. And we have three uh, matches in the Danish league where we need some results. And uh, then we are going over there to Manchester. And as a minimum, we have to... Uh, finish this uh, European campaign in the best way possible for FC Copenhagen no matter what the scoreboard says. Which uh, thoughts that you have about uh, use uh, the team today, you used two uh, new players today. Well, I didn't think about whether you could uh, use new players or not and I think Marius and Scott both uh, played well uh, and I would say regarding McKenna he hasn't played a competition competitive match or game for a long time so I thought it was important for him to also to kickstart uh, the spring season for him and regarding Lucas uh, quarantine we knew we had to find a replacement and Magnus was one of several options and he did well during training and he has a lot of, he had a lot of confidence and I, even though there were things today where he had a difficult time I think he uh, played really well eventually and uh, had uh, good energy and also uh, with good quality for periods that we know he can deliver. <laughs> Biggest consideration for me was uh, can you cover the width of the uh, field with 3-5-1 or which kind of defense uh, will I lose? These were my major thoughts. Jakob, you mentioned uh, tempo shock earlier. How can you use the 90 minutes today? Uh, regarding Sunday and uh, Silkeborg that you're playing. Yes, that's what I said. And uh, regarding the Danish League, Superliga, I think that it's good for us with this match uh, here because 
now we have started and we have to try to uh, use that momentum and we know that it's two difficult two different tournaments and two different two different bases and uh, there's the match in Silkeborg that's one thing but you could say it was a disadvantage regarding this uh, match that it was the first match and it was a disadvantage regarding Champions League match and so forth but I think uh, it's okay for the Danish League I would say Jakob, I have to challenge you, like Sebastian, with about next year, when the European tournaments will be changed. If I'm not mistaken, it's actually the two last match days, seven and eight, Champions League and European League or Europe League. They are the last two weeks of January. So you have this challenge that you just described. You will have it again in a year. So what can you, or can you do anything about this if you are in Denmark? Do you need to have competitive matches or better training opponents or what are you going to do? Well, you could say that two weeks makes a difference. So the fact that it's in at the end of January rather than uh, mid-February where we are now, that's already a help. So I think personally it's fine that we play the Danish league and the cup, the Danish cup in December. I think that's something and uh, something to push forward with the with with that tournament. But I don't know what the other options are uh, for the last uh, first or last game being so close together. I think that should enhance the possibilities to for delivering a good uh, result after Christmas. But it's no excuse. Had we played five, six matches in a row, we would still have had a very hard time tonight. On, on that note, thank you for tonight. <laughs>